Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your September 2023 Tarot and Oracle forecast. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. Yes, this video is for Aquarius, but not just sun placements. It's for moon, rising, and Venus signs. So please check out my other videos for your other placements. Now, September is going to be an interesting month. As I'm filming this, Venus is going direct. It feels like Venus has been in retrograde forever. And Venus is all about self-worth, self-value, self-respect. It's love, relationships. I think we're going to feel a lot better moving ourselves forward now. September 15th, Mercury will go direct as well. It has been retrograde for the last little bit. And that could also be about, you know, miscommunications or people popping up from the past. Now we want to have more flow. So let's take a look at what's going on in your energy for September. Now, before I begin with the tarot, I'm going to take a Moonology card just to get a message for the big picture here. A new romantic cycle begins. Wow, Aquarius, I like that. Okay, let's see. What about this new romantic cycle? We have the two, oh, geez, I mean, two of cups, deep soul connection, lovey vibes, and look at ten of cups. Ten of Cups is ultimate wish fulfillment, which is lovely. Nine of Coins, feeling good in your own skin. I want to remind you, self-worth, self-value, and self-respect. That's Venus, pre-Empress energy here with the Nine of Coins. And what else do we have? The Queen of Cups. Just make sure that you're not overgiving to everybody. Allow yourself to receive, lean back, and trust your intuition. Okay, now with that, we have the Nine of Wands, Wounded warrior, you have been through battle. It hasn't been easy. And again, look, you have another orange card, Venus. So much Venus energy today. Now, nine, nine could be a sign for you. Nines, um, they mean solitude. It means being on the brink of some major change. And with that, here is the Empress. See, look, Venus again, self-worth, self-value, and self-respect. You're going from that nine of coins, which is pre-Empress, to Empress. And actually, nine of coins is Virgo energy. So let's see what else we need to know here. The Emperor. Well, you have counterparts. So this is definitely a love reading. The Emperor is Aries energy, but it doesn't have to mean those signs. And the Empress is um, Libra and it's Taurus. But again, it's not about necessarily being those signs. It's just that energy. So the Emperor is saying you're making some power moves. And with that, we have temperance, patience, forgiveness, possibly reconciliation. It also indicates that something is brewing. And the Six of Swords says, moving on to calmer waters, peace. It could also indicate literal travel, which sounds absolutely wonderful. Let's go to the Oracle cards here to see what else you need to know. Um, universe is like I said what I said. I mean, geez, Venus. There is so much Venus energy in this reading. Okay, Ten of Cups. Let's see. We have the Victory, the Trophy. I mean, Aquarius, this is a lovely reading for September. Nine of coins, the tree, being grounded, okay, having good health, investing in yourself, personal growth, evolution, feeling connected to source. Now, the queen of cups says be heart-centered, self-esteem, there's that Venus energy, okay, lovely. Nine of wands, which is the wounded warrior, well, two cards came out, okay, so you're wanting abundance, naturally, we all do. And the ego card here says we're looking to challenge the status quo. If we want different, we have to do different. So there might be some adjustments that you need to make. Now, the Empress card, look, growth, expansion, good luck with the Wheel of Fortune here. That's Jupiter. Love it. Okay. The Emperor, this is telling you um, enjoy the present moment with this hummingbird energy. Lightness of being, calm, cool, collected. And the temperance card here, something's going to become publicly known. Something's brewing. It might come out, whether it's feelings or, I don't know, it's just something may just be revealed. And look at the spark here. Wow, the firefly, illumination, chemistry, magic, self-discovery, and someone exceptional. So this is a very nice love reading that you're having. So let's take a power of surrender card just to see what you need to surrender or surrender to. Surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Very interesting. What is it that maybe you haven't been seeing? Is it the fact that maybe you have deeper feelings for someone or that a connection is deeper than you thought? Or you've been sort of holding yourself back from moving forward? 
Let me know in the comments, but what a beautiful reading. So I really hope this resonates with you. Thank you always for your kindness and support. Please check out my other videos with other placements. And thank you so much again, and I wish you the most amazing September.